This is a video about using Excel to make a multiplication table, which I think is a great activity for a lot of different math classes. And if you haven't tried to make a multiplication table yourself in Excel, I'd try it before watching this video. There are lots of different ways to do it. The way we're going to talk about um, introduces absolute references. Okay, so let me go to a blank sheet. And the first thing I'm going to do is make the cells a bit smaller. So I click here to highlight everything. Go to the Format menu. And I'll choose Column and Width. And I'm going to change the column width to 4, just so we can fit in some more numbers. OK, so we'll make a multiplication table from, I don't know, let's see what fits. So I put in the first two numbers here, 1 and 2. This is going to be the numbers on the outside of the table, just to tell us what we're doing. And oh, let's go up to 9. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Now you notice what, what I'm using here to drag, to make this table of numbers, I highlight two cells like this using the open white cross cursor. And then I go down to the bottom right in the fill handle when the cursor changes to black cross and then I can drag and Excel picks up the pattern 1 through 9. You put a little multiplication sign here so I can tell. Um, and one of the other things I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little grid. So I'm just going to highlight. I did not mean to go that far. I'm going to highlight the cells that are going to be in my table and just make them in a grid with the button up here. OK, now when students first try to make a multiplication table, sometimes here's what they do. They think, OK, well, what I want to go in the cell, I want to put the equal sign for the formula. And then I want A2 over here times B1, the row times the column. And put that here. And now I'll try to drag this formula across. You see that these numbers are wrong. 1 times 5 is not 120. The one thing I would really encourage you not to do is to immediately hit undo. This is what my students always want to do. And um, that goes with the theory that the worst thing to do in math class is make a mistake, which is not true at all. We don't become good at math by not making mistakes. We become good at math by learning from our mistakes. So we want to just take a look and see what happened. And I'll just click in oh, cell E2 here. And let me get up the magnifying glass so we can see here. Now, if I go up to the formula bar, you can see the formula is D2 times E1. OK. And now what we wanted the formula here to be was um, E1 is right, but we didn't want D2. We wanted A2. So what happened? When we typed our original formula here, and Excel writes this as A2 times B1, that's a relative reference. And what Excel is really seeing is the, the cell to the left times the cell above. And that's what happened here. In, in our cell E2, we got the cell to the left, which is D2, 6, and the cell above, which is E1, 4, 6 times 4. So what we actually have here is a nice way to do the factorial function, but that's really not what we wanted. We wanted a multiplication table. OK, so now we see, we see um, what we've done. And I, I am going to delete these cells now. And I'm going to go back here and fix our formula. So and put the magnifying glass on it too. What we need to do is we need to keep having our cells stay in column A. And the way to do that is you put a little dollar sign before the A. Um, and that says that, OK, that relative feature is really useful in a lot of cases. But right now, that's not what I want. When I say column A, I mean column A. And we're going to keep it that way. All right. So let's try what happens with this formula. 
All right, looking good. Let's try moving it down a row. Still looking good. Let's try moving it down another row. Hmm, this is not quite looking so good. Okay, I have three times nine is 54. So let's see what, what's going on here. And here I have A4 times J3. And what I wanted was A4 times J1. So we've got kind of the same problem going on with the other factor in our equation that we wanted to stay in the first row. So let's go back, get rid of these, get rid of these. And once again, we can fix, but this time what we want to stay the same is row one. Okay, so this time we put the dollar sign in front of the one. Okay, and let's see what we've got. Voila, multiplication table. Now you can make this multiplication table a lot bigger if you do a 20 by 20 multiplication table. As long as you change the landscape, you can print it out and um, it'll fit on the page and it's great for um, having students look at patterns and such. Okay.